Meanwhile, here at home, hurricanes certainly top of mind, especially right now, fresh off Nicole. And this afternoon, we are learning a natural defense against hurricanes is actually weakening. Our Ashley Glass shows us this afternoon how scientists are racing against the clock to rehab coral reefs. They're beautiful, colorful, and critical in more ways than one. But coral reefs are also in trouble. We're at the point now where most reefs around the world have suffered up to 50% declines in the amount of living coral. Scientist Lauren Toth revealing new findings from the U.S. Geological Survey focused on the Florida Keys. She shared this video of their work with us. She says after thousands of years of growth, or at least stability, 85% of reefs in the Keys are now shrinking because of disease, temperature swings, and storms. The changes that we've seen over the last 50 years in the Florida Keys really are reflective of what we've seen happen on reefs globally. They're currently eroding at a rate where some, some parts of the reef could disappear in several hundred years, which you know still seems like a lot of time, but that's, that's actually a lot of structure that's, um, that's being lost. A loss that puts coastal residents and property at greater risk. That's Kurt Sterlazzi's expertise. He explains how reefs lessen a hurricane's impact. It causes waves to break. When waves break, they dissipate a lot of energy, and so the wave height goes down. What we showed is coral reefs across the U.S. protect $1.8 billion of infrastructure and economic activity annually, and over 18,000 people. He adds that his research with the USGS shows reefs can break up 97% of wave energy. He points to Hurricane Fiona that slammed Puerto Rico in September, saying without the natural protection of reefs, the Category 1 storm that reportedly killed as many as 25 people could have been much worse. Yeah, we have no time to waste. This is where Andrew Baker and his team at the University of Miami come in, striving for solutions. We need this coastal protection now. They're engineering reefs using forms of concrete and testing it here. They shared this video with us of how a wave tank simulates a powerful hurricane. Baker says the goal is to make tougher structures that grow in concert with natural reefs. It's a project just getting started that has risen to the level of the U.S. Department of Defense, which is now backing it with millions of dollars. Well, I think it's a real seal of approval that this approach is you know, worth exploring. It allows us to really think big uh, and try a whole bunch of different methods uh, to try to build these um, more resilient reefs as quickly as possible. Eye-opening, fascinating, and so neat to see that there's actually work being done to, you know, help the problem. Ashley Glass here in studio, along with my co-anchor, Steve Weagle, and the 4 o'clock newscast here. Ashley, it is not all bad news no. when it comes to the state of our coral reefs, though. It's not. There's yeah. a major silver lining here. There are a number of rehab and restoration efforts underway right now, and the scientists I talked to say if those projects stay on track, yes. which they're supposed to, we could see reefs eventually thriving in ways we haven't seen in 7,000 years. Wouldn't that be a day? It, it really is amazing. I've seen the same research going on in the Bahamas, and yes. after Dorian, they yes. realized how their reefs protected the coastline. You don't think about it because it's just under the surface of the water, sure. but it's it's literally a wall that is protecting the coastline and protecting the beaches. Yeah, you know, the ocean is such a way of life for us here and, you know, exploring, you know, all the beauty underneath. You don't stop to think that there's another major factor here that it could be a protection against things like a powerful storm. And to your point saying earlier that they deemed this such a threat that DOD, the Department of Defense, has stepped in right. to try to create such a fix. threat. And they're putting millions and millions of dollars behind that project you saw at the University of Miami. It is that, you know, high level.